If you'd like to see how I installed these daytime running lights and sweeping LED blinkers, stay tuned and I'll show you how I increased the visibility of my truck. installation of these sweeping LED lights, I looked to put them around the headlights, but it didn't really fit well there. Plus, it's still too low. So, I decided this top roll bar to my roll cage, or brush cage guard, is where I want to install these. Because I don't want to put them on top, so I'm going to put them underneath, like this. And it will make one continuous white light on the daylight running lights, and the sweeping LED for the turn signal will go like this all the way across the front. And it's up higher to get around the scooter, so it'll be visible from everywhere. Okay, now anybody who's done a project like this knows the wiring is 90% of the work, and getting it to the right places to come on at the right times. And these strips have three wires. They have a red, a yellow, and a black. And through testing and deciphering a single picture I found on the website from China, um, the black is for the negative, the white, or the, the switch for the white light is red, and the two turn signal colors are yellow. So, I have to hook these all together with a bunch of extension leads so I can get to places in my truck where there's fuses and other places to make the lights come on at the right time. So I'll try to show you as much of that as I can as I start soldering these together. Okay, for this wiring job, I'm gonna use something else that's brand new to me. I bought a kit for different size wires and they have heat shrink tubing um, in, with a piece of low melting solder as you can see here in the middle. So you slip the wires in from both sides and then hold it over this heat shrink gun and it's supposed to solder it and heat shrink it at the same time. So we're going to try that. So for the first test, I, I, I put together two black wires. Okay, here's the red wires all going together. There are all four wires soldered. Now I think I'll actually put a uh, heat shrink over the entire thing, just as a precaution. After, of course, I go and test it. So let's go test it on the car. Okay, here goes the test. Here's the two lights, as you see here. Now, We'll put, okay, two running lights come on, beautiful. Great, now let's see if the blinkers work, the sweeping. So the question is, will the white turn off when the, when the yellow comes on? Let's just try that. Oh, look at that. The white turns off when the yellow comes on. There's that one. Let's try the other one. Yes, there's logic in the circuit. So when it gets power for the blinker, it automatically turns off the white, which is exactly what it should be. Excellent. Okay, now that I got the wiring all shrink-wrapped, perfect, so that's ready to install, 
uh, before I can actually install this, I got to take off this tape that's on the back of these. As you can maybe see, it's already not sticking. So my plan is to rip it all off. Okay, and then put on a new piece. Of a different kind of tape, uh, a 3M, what they call VHB, very high bond tape that you see here. You can get it in a lot of stores. I got this on Amazon. It's you can. It's telltale it's gray foam inner with this red liner. It's permanent. They use it to replace rivets and screws and stuff like on holding molding on the sides of cars. So when it goes on, it doesn't come off. So now my goal is I'm going to put this back on, hopefully carefully, and I'll be ready to mount this. There, then I release the other the liner, this red liner off the back side of the tape and can stick it on. Well, there's one. Now I gotta do the other one. And just to note, one is a left, one's a right. Because the light comes out one way. So you have to make sure when you're mounting it, you get the left on the left and the right on the right. There. Now, we're ready to mount this in the car and run the wires. So let's go do that. Okay, it's time to mount the lights. I've carefully wiped the whole bar with a towel so it's nice and clean. Now I am going to stick on the lights. As you can see here, I'm adding clamps to hold the tape to the bar, and this just helps to promote the bond and make the adhesive stick much better. Okay, the next thing I'd like to try to do is speed this flex, what do they call it, wire conduit onto the cable. Adding the conduit to the cable helps protect it, especially like when you're washing your car or mechanics are working around it. It just makes it a little more robust and prevents it from any kind of damage. Okay, let me show you how I'm running the wires. So far it runs down. I didn't want it to go over where the hood closes or when mechanics are working on it. I didn't want anything on top or on the, this. So I went under the first vent for the radiator, the, the louvers here, then I came up inside, around, around my battery, and this is the black positive connection. That's going to go right here to the side of the battery. All right, that's the first connection. All right, now to pull this red wire through. Make sure nothing's going to get tangled here. 
Let's try it. Okay, on the inside, this inside fuse box, um, as you see, I have my meter. And having a meter is actually pretty invaluable. And I want to go to this fuse down here. And that's for the wiper, windshield wiper, washer and everything. So that's usually powered, has power when you're on. So as you can see with the meter, I have it on volts and I'm seeing nothing. Now I'll put the key in. The whole truck comes to life. And now I'll touch the same thing. And you can see, 12 volts. So, that tells me that gets power only when the key's on. Because I turn it off, like I showed you earlier. Nothing. So, it's invaluable to have a meter and test which circuit you're going to use in advance. So now I'm going to wire to that. Okay. So here's that red wire I fished up front. And I crimped on another one of these um, taps. Now I want to pull this fuse out and put it back in here. There we go. And then, huh, may have to go the other way. I had to turn it the other way because there wasn't room with this. Flasher. So now we should be all ready to test everything. Let's go turn things on and see how they come out. Okay, after I got the ground and power wires hooked up, I needed to run the cables <clears throat> down to the blinkers. And then the other one I had to bring over to this bulb. You could see in the back, um, I had to wire it, splice it in right here with um, one of these amp splices which work fantastic so now I have it wired into each blinker but as you see I take the whole blinker out to get to the bulb and the wiring so time to put it back together okay now to demo the lights now that the projects all finished Those look spectacular. Those are the daytime running lights. As you can see, the daytime running lights turn off when the blinkers go on. Just spectacular. I think that's a huge success and should greatly increase my visibility. This is what the truck looks like at night with the daytime running lights and the side marker lights on my running boards. Now watch what happens when I turn the blinker on. That's much, much better visibility, as you can see.
I love it. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for future videos.